to my channel. Today I have an unboxing that I wanted to share with you. I've actually already taken this out of the box because these are so stiff that I wanted them to be out for a little bit before I actually try to film them. These are Dreamer Designs. I have two today to show you. This is what the box looks like. It says Dreamer Designs on it. It shows that it's a premium. These are premium kits, which means that they're going to cost a little more, but you're also going to or should have better quality. The back is going to tell you how, how to diamond paint if you don't already know how. It also is going to show you what comes in the kit, which is at the bottom here. This first one is called Dahlia and it is legal, legally licensed from Curtis Rykovich. It is a 60 by 80 centimeter. So to me, that's a really good size. Um, it does have some darker colors with it, but I think that will be okay. The other one that I have is very similar to this one with the colors. I think they will look good. I'm on the same wall. I'm going to show you, I'm trying not to make too much noise. Here is the actual thumbnail. So you can see the colors. I think this would be good not only for just to do this, but if you were doing some type of Halloween, that would be really good. This will be perfect for drills and chills that will be coming up. And she has a witch's hat. I don't know if you can tell that by the glare. Also, the cat um, has wings here. And then she has a tattoo over on her side here, or on her shoulder, and some she has um, some necklaces here. You can also see the cat's tail at the bottom. The cat has the same emblem that she does, or very similar to it. There's a lot of color blocking if you look over on this side, so that shouldn't take too long to do. And I've already looked at the sticky test. It's very sticky. Some of these, because the colors are so dark, like this dark green here, may be um, difficult to see. I may have to use my light pad, especially around here with all this dark teal. That may be really difficult to see as well. Dreamer Designs does give you, try to go slow there, and we, there are 63 colors, and Dreamer Designs does give you stickers already made if you like to kit up, which I like to do. There's also a toolkit. Each of their toolkits comes with two of everything in it. I'm just going to show you one tool kit because it's the exact same thing for both kits. So there's no need to waste your time to show you the same thing twice. We have two scrunchies that will work for our pins. So we have two pins here with a single placer on the end. We also have a straightener because these are squares. We have a single placer and we also have a six placer. This one is a little too thick for me, but I do have some extras that I, ha I have on the side. They give you two little pots of wax. Okay, you also have your tweezers that has their name on it. These are really good tweezers. They are very sharp. We have two boats. The name Dreamer Designs are on the back of both. And then they give you some baggies if you want to use those to kit up. There wouldn't be enough baggies in there to kit up for all the colors, but if you wanted to use that for some of your over, overflow drills, you could do that. I like to just kit up and then I don't use those baggies. I'm gonna put this on the back side here to go through the colors. I don't have to make too much noise here. So I'm going to go through these slowly so you can see how pretty that they are. Some of the bags have very few drills in them, also called diamonds. But just at first glance, I don't see any issues with any of these. They look really good. 
course, I won't be able to tell until I kit up. And then also, as I am putting my drills down, I will not be able to tell until then. But I'm really hoping that these are going to be good. There's four bags of three tins. Some really pretty pinks in here. A variety of pinks. And that's really in both of the kits that I have from them that I'm going to show you. I don't know when I'm going to get to kitting either one of these up or even doing them. I have several others that I need to do before I do this. I've pretty much gone through events for the year. And unless a new event comes up, I've already designated which kits I'm going to use for events for different months. And if you're not sure of what events are coming up, I will post on the eye my last Whippin' Chat, and it actually has a link that you can go to for the spreadsheet. And another creator does do that spreadsheet um, for everybody, which is very nice and very helpful. I'm sure that takes a lot of time. And here are the ABs. These are Aurora Borealis. And these are just more shiny. They have more of a shimmer than the others. But they also make the ones around them shine more as well. I really like this white. Okay, well, I'm going to put this up, and then I will get the other one out and show you what that one looks like. Give me just a second. Don't go anywhere. Okay, here is the second one. This one's called Daydreamer, and it is of a mermaid. This one is also legally licensed from Curtis Rockovich. And it is a 60 by 80, so the same size. And as you can tell, several of the same colors are going to be in this kit that was in the other kit. There are 68 colors on this one. There's a schematic the same on both sides. It is scalloped. I don't think I mentioned that on the last one, that it is scalloped to where you're not going to have any raveling. And it also has um, sewn holes at the top that's going to help prevent raveling on your canvas. And nothing is worse than that. I've actually had a canvas, not from this company, but from another company where it started raveling really bad. And I did finish it, but um, it looks awful because it has raggedy edges. So anyway, um, this one is very pretty as well. I really like her eyes. They look a little different. I'm a little nervous about the lips. They just look kind of funny on the rendering, but I hope that they will be okay once um, I do start to put drills down. Um, she has quite a bit of hair. She also has, um, it looks like there is a bow in her hair. And then if you look down at the bottom here, you can see her fishtail. And it does say paint with passion. This one is just as sticky as the other one. I kind of wanted to show you how it looks together. There is a lot of the darker colors, again, in here. I don't think that's going to really be a problem, but again, I won't know until I start working on it. I'm going to flip this over so we can look at the drills. I hope you don't hear my dog whining. It's nasty here, and she's having a fit to go out. So hopefully she'll be okay until I finish. Okay, I put all the drills in here, just so I would know where they are. Okay. Pull these out. I try to make as less noise as I can with this plastic, but. It is so much crinkling. Okay, this one again has a schematic. It's really nice because it is on sticker paper. Here's some of the ABs on this one. Again, some of these are very similar to the last kit. 
I just always have to remember to keep these separate, which I do. Dreamer Designs does say Dreamer Designs on here. Does not tell you what kit that it's for. But I always mark it on a, I either put it in an envelope, I have these big manila envelopes, or I will put them in large freezer bags. And I will label them, and that way I know exactly where all my drills go. There has to be some kind of trick. I'm sure it's not that difficult, but I have the hardest time once I take something out of a box, doesn't matter what it is, I have a hard time putting it back in. And my kids are the same way. My husband can fit things back in that looks just as good as when it came from the you know, factory or the distributor, but I just don't have that talent. Sometimes I'm lucky I can get it back into the box. And these are very good boxes, so I definitely keep my canvases in the boxes. Unfortunately, I just can't get the drills back in there. And I've been doing this for a long time. I would unbox before I had a channel just to make sure that I had everything and I had what I ordered and all the drills were there. I did an inventory of my drills. I don't do that as much as I used to, especially with the premier companies, but I couldn't get the drills back in then either. This is the last one. I don't want to show me these. I don't think so. That's a really pretty green, like a celery, but there's not very many in there. And it always worries me a little bit when there's very few drills. I just know I'm going to run out. So you have to be really careful in the smaller ones that you do have enough. All right. So I'll flip this back over so we'll have something to see. And that over to the side. I think that this is going to be really fun to do, especially with all the color blocking. I need something that has some color blocking right now, especially going from the one that I have been working on. It seems like forever, but it's been about six weeks, so it's not just horrible. But I'd like to be able to use a multi-placer and get some of these drills down. But these all look really good. I'm just kind of looking at the canvas. It does have quite a bit of the glue that has gone past the colors here. And what they do, I don't know, it's probably hard to see on camera, but this top part here where the color is does not, you don't put drills on that, but it does go over on the, that's very sticky there, but I will put some washi and cover that up, otherwise I'm gonna have that filthy. And I always keep my hands very clean. My dogs don't get close to my diamond paintings, but somehow it always gets dirty. I'm not exactly sure how. I don't know if you guys are like that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And that way you will be notified of future videos. You can also hit the, um, the bell, the alert bell. That will help you as well. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I would love to respond to it. Let me know if you have done either one of these. I have not seen either one of these unboxed yet, nor have I seen them completed. But both of these were pre-releases and they just were delivered to me over the weekend. So I'm assuming that no one has you know, gotten theirs early for the pre-release and that they were they have completed it. So I'm really curious what these are going to look like, but sometimes I don't even wanna look because I want to be surprised. I also received this weekend um, a, a painting from Diamond Art Club, and that one is one that I'm not sure if I'm going to do because it was one of the ones that you purchase it 
and you really don't know what you're doing um, with it yet. Um, you cannot see the actual picture. They have it all in white. And so I don't know if I want to do that on my channel or not because I don't want to um, have someone's surprise ruined if they happen to click on my link. But hopefully with the mystery paintings that um, if you decide that you want to do one, and if I do have one on my channel, then I'll make sure that I alert everyone in plenty of time. They will see it before I show it. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope that you have a great day the rest of your week. And until next time, keep on crafting, guys. Bye.